Hey folks, it's Archer here with Pico, and we're on the uh, 1998 Tidewater today, and we're gonna investigate how to install a through-hull transducer without having to drill through the hull. So stay with me in this video, we'll go through and see how easy it actually is. Right on, right on. So in order to install this through the fiberglass without drilling through the fiberglass, because you hate to drill through a perfectly good fiberglass hull, right, and create a weak spot. So what we're going to do is, I've got a hatch here, and I've taken out, there's a big uh, box that goes here, I've taken the box out, and so the hull is kind of stepped. So what we're going to do is we're going to test this out today by putting the transducer right here in a bag of water so that there's a continuous solid surface to conduct the clicks down through and we're going to see if it's in the bag of water how uh, if the sonar head gets a proper reading so it should be about 20 feet or so so i'm going to fill the water up and uh, we'll see how this works wasn't able to make it work in the bag but now that I'm actually in the bilge where there's a little bit of water so there's a bilge here I'm holding the transducer kind of forcing it against and I can see from the, the head that it is picking up accurate measurements so I'm going to think that that is probably a good location for it. it's not in the way of anything um, so All right, if you're anything like me, you know that there's two parts to every project. The first part is doing the project, and the second part is fixing the part that you messed up on the project. So I just implanted this in epoxy permanently. It is hardened up. I got the nice transducer down there in the bilge, but look at the wire. I forgot to tuck the wire away. And so now I've got to totally undo this project somehow to make the wire actually run through the gunnel up to the sonar head. So this means we're in the second half. Nice. All right, so far so good. We've got a good signal and we're in the shallows here. We got it permanently mounted in epoxy. Got everything finally run the correct way. Uh, so now we're gonna go out through the deep water and just double check that it all works. And then we're gonna do some speed tests that go real fast to make sure it works on a plane.
do it twice.